Hello 21st Century Moses, my name is Sammy Ju and 21st Century Moses channel. This is verse by verse daily Bible study with a big question. Today's big question is, what kind of life Christians should live? There are lots of Christians, but not all of them live as God wants. Let's look at Ephesians 5, 9 to see about life God wants us to live. Let's read Ephesians 5, 9. For the fruit of the light consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Now, let's look at the word fruit. In Greek is karpos. It means everything done in true partnership with Christ. So in this context, if you don't have any relationship with Christ, then there is no way for you to bear fruit. Now, let's look at this verse again. For the fruit of the light so if you are in the light, if you are in the partnership with Christ, then you will bear fruit. Now, what kind of fruit is that? It, it says, consists in all goodness and righteousness and truth. Not partial, but all goodness, righteousness, and, and truth. Let's look at this verse in light of the other verses. Now, Matthew 3, 8 says, produce fruit worthy of of repentance so if you truly repented that means you are going to produce fruit now repentance is not just saying a prayer and going back to what you used to do if you truly repented then your life will show as bearing fruit so it's a very important is uh, it is important to know how it is connected to the repentance so in light of this, let's look at today's verse again. The fruit of the light. So if you are in the light, if you are truly repented, then what happens is you bear fruit. But if you did not repent, if you are not in the light, if you are in darkness, then there is no fruit. Now, let's look at this fruit one more time in a more of a detail. In Galatians 5, 22 through 23, it says, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control, and against such things there is no law. So, if you are in the light, you bear fruit, and it says goodness, righteousness, and truth. Uh, but in Galatians, it shows more. It's a nine fruits of the Holy Spirit. Now, the fr fruits in the light, fruits in the Holy Spirit, it's the same thing. Because God is the light and Holy Spirit is God, right? But it has more detail here. You will have love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control as fruits. So the lesson is, who is God? God is the light but the world is darkness, the church is a light, and she produces fruits of the light. So the application is, first, repent fruits of darkness. In the following verses, we're going to look at more of uh, fruits of darkness. But, you know, whatever you did in your sin, whatever you did before, uh, when you were in darkness, that are, they are the fruits of the darkness. So we need to turn away from them. And then come to Jesus Christ, who is the true light. If you don't come to the light, there is no way you can bear fruit God wants. And then when you come to Jesus Christ and true repentance, bear fruits of the light. Friends, come to Jesus and bear fruits as God wants you to bear. Let's pray for his help. Heavenly Father, we need your help. So Father, please help us to bear fruits as you intended us to do. We thank you, praise you. In Jesus' holy name, I prayed. Amen.